If you just started using videos in your business, you're probably wondering, well, how the heck do I edit these videos quickly and simply? What software do I use? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over two of the most popular video editing softwares out there, iMovie versus Adobe Premiere. To learn more about the video resources that I use in my business and that I recommend, make sure to click the link below this video to download my video marketing resource guide. Okay, iMovie versus Adobe Premiere. Which one is better and which one should you use as a beginner? Well, first let's talk about iMovie. So iMovie is actually a free software that comes with all Mac computers. And the nice thing about iMovie is that it's, well, one, free, and two, that it's a really basic editing software and it's really, really simple to use and easy to use for beginners. So that is a big pro, right? You're not gonna have a huge learning curve when it comes to this software. But let's go over some of the limitations that iMovie does have. So one of the biggest things about iMovie and one of the reasons that I started to move away from it as my business grew was that it has limited tracks. And tracks basically mean layers. So when you're on the editing software, you're gonna have different layers, right? Where you can place your video track, your audio, any graphics, anything like that, the kind of layer over top of the original video footage. So the thing with iMovie is that it only has two layers or two video tracks, which makes it difficult when you get into a little bit more advanced editing. So if you wanna start adding some motion graphics, so some moving elements that come across the screen, or if you wanna add multiple different layers of graphics or audio tracks, things like that, it makes it a little bit more difficult because you are limited to just the two. Now, this isn't a huge deal when it comes to just plain talking head videos like this, or if you're just creating really simple videos like vlogs where you just have a couple graphics coming over top of the video footage, not such a big deal. This is more of a problem when you get into higher level editing. The second thing about iMovie is that there's limited effects. So it's a lot harder to create customized effects um, like motion graphics or anything like that. It's also a lot more limited when it comes to color grading or audio editing, anything like that. So iMovie is really, really used to be a simple, simple editing software. There is nothing complicated about it, which is good, right, for a beginner, but that also means that there's some serious limitations when it comes to the customization of what you can do with your footage. So now let's talk about Adobe Premiere. Okay, so Adobe Premiere is a paid program through Adobe and you can purchase it either on its own or you can purchase it as part of the Adobe Suite, which comes with Adobe Edition for audio and it also comes with After Effects for motion graphics, along with some other great software as well. So if you're looking to create more advanced videos, then having a software suite like Adobe is a really great option because all of these different softwares actually connect with each other, which makes editing editing at a more advanced level, really, really smooth and a really great workflow. So for example, you could create motion graphics and then bring them right into Premiere quite easily. They actually have a linking feature that just lets them kind of connect together. So again, if you're an advanced editor, this is a really great solution for you. Adobe Premiere obviously also has a lot more advanced effects and customization features. It also allows you to color grade things a lot more. And like I said before, it links to something like Adobe Edition, which has very, very high level audio editing as well. Now, the price point on Adobe Premiere is around the $50 mark US um, per month. It might be different depending on where you're watching this from, but it's around that price point. So it's not too, too high. But again, if you are a beginner who's just starting with video editing, this might not be workable for your budget. So after talking about both of these programs, which one is better for you as a beginner, right? If you're watching this video, you are most likely a beginner when it comes to video editing, right? So which one is better? Well, in my opinion, iMovie is a great place to start and it's where I would recommend most people to start when it comes to video editing. It's where I started as well. Um, not only because it's free, but also just because it's super easy to use. If you jump right into something like Adobe Premiere, there is going to be a large learning curve. And when it comes to video content, I really don't want that to hinder you from creating video content and getting it out into the world. I want you to start with the simplest of processes so that you actually can create a workflow that gets video content done quickly and easily. Also, if you're not a Mac user and you're still looking for something really easy to use, there's a lot of really great online editors as well, like wave.video, um, Clipscribe. There's a lot of different ones and I'll link some below this video for you. But these are great options as well to get really simple video edits completed. So I would love to know, if you're just getting started with video editing, which one would you choose? 
iMovie or Adobe Premiere? Let me know in the comments below this video. And if you're looking to learn how to use video in your business and create a video lead machine in your business, make sure to click the link below this video to sign up for my free masterclass where I show you exactly how to do this. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to share it on your social media and tag me at Wondermate Creative. Also, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next week. Thank you.